Have you ever wanted to know if the store bought store brand batteries are better than the name brand batteries? Uh, the, the price differences are huge sometimes, right? Um, they're made in different places. So I decided to try it. I needed two 9 volt batteries. So I went to the store and I purchased two 9 volt batteries with the store's brand on them and they were made in China. And I purchased two Energizer Max batteries and they're made in Malaysia. Uh, let me show you what I have. So here's the challenge. We have a tool for measuring the voltage. These are brand new, just purchased 30 minutes ago, the same store with the market basket and the energizer. The market basket is a nine volt, claims that it's good till August of 2030. Turn the Turn it on its side here, get a look at it. Made in China. And there's a date on here somewhere. There we go. August 2030. That's the date on the battery. So we'll be testing that one against the Energizer. Energizer Max. There's a date on the Energizer Max. You can see it there, December of 28. So the market basket is actually rated to last longer or survive longer on the shelf because it's a shelf life rating than the Energizer Max by a couple of years. And here's the receipt. You can see that I purchased them at the same time at the same store. We've got the market basket batteries and the Energizer. What's the biggest difference I've seen so far? How about the market basket batteries for two batteries was $299 and the Energizer Max is $799. So far, that's the biggest difference I've seen. Let's find out what happens when we put them on a testing equipment. So the tool is turned on. We'll zero out the display. First up is the market basket. Get the leads right in the center there. And let's see what we get. 9.60. 9.60 on the market basket. That looks like about the best we're going to get. So that's the market basket, brand new right out of the box. Turn off the display, put the market basket aside. Now we'll do the Energizer Max. Turn on the tool. Zero out the display. By the way, in case I didn't show you before, that's how I'm zeroing out the display. Put the positive and the negative together. Some would say that would uh, eliminate errant current or they'd have nice fancy words for it, but I don't know those fancy words. So let's try the Energizer. Set the leads right inside the Energizer. 9.67. Seems to be holding steady. 9.67 out of the box for the Energizer. That looks about as good as it's going to get for that one. That's the Energizer Max right out of the box. I guess if you're going to do it, you may as well do it right, right? So here's what I've done. These are the two batteries that you saw in the tester. I took some tape, put them in the package, sealed them up, wrote on it, do not use. Keep until expired. Tested 2824. When these expire, in the original package. That was August of 2030 for the market basket. So the market basket and the energizer that were tested are in here together. When they, when this one, this one's supposed to, the shelf life of this one is supposed to expire two years before this one. So we'll find out in 2030, we'll test them again, and see what they look So there like. you have it. I guess you have to decide for yourself. Is it worth it to you to buy the more expensive batteries? Uh, they're made someplace different. 
Uh, voltage seems to be a little bit different out of the package. I don't know if that's going to be true for every battery in every store. Uh, I showed you the markings on it so you could see the the uh, on the shelf life date that the manufacturer puts on the batteries. Uh, I guess after this, you have to decide for yourself. Is it worth it? So until then, I'll find something else to show you. Okay, bye bye.